game it was for you. 36 carries, 185 yards. Just how special was this to just get the win, get the revenge against Irish today? Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was, it was what we needed, you know. And I knew what I had to do um, in order for this team to succeed. And um, I couldn't have done it with the guys, without the guys up front, without the coaches, without just fighting for my brothers. So that's that's really what I was just trying to focus on today, just fighting for this team, fighting for my brothers, and I give all glory to God. Yeah, just absolute workload for you. Just, you know, when you were just grinding out there, what were those guys saying to you? Just keep you in the game, keep you focused, just every single play. Uh, we, were just, we just kept preaching execute. So that's been our message all week, just execute, uh, finish the game. Uh, we knew we were up at halftime, but we knew it. Uh, Notre Dame wasn't going to stop, so we had to go back out there and keep executing, keep going until the very end. So I'm just extremely proud of those guys uh, for bringing it today and just defending the Valley. And then lastly, just for the remainder of the season, how important was this win for you guys to just turn everything around? You know, it was a tough stretch, so just how important was this moving forward for Clemson? Uh, it was very important. We needed that momentum um, going into November. Coach always talks about they remember November, so we needed this. This was, this was definitely vital uh, for this season, and it's given us more confidence to just keep going and finish well. Uh, a lot, you know, that's my roommate, that's my guy. You know, I, I, I really wanted to represent him well, represent the running back room well, Coach Spiller, the offense in general. And, you know, with every carry I got, I just kept thinking about those guys in our room, just playing for them and just trying to execute and get it done. What were some of the words um, Spiller and Shipley met with you after the game? I'm sure you guys embraced. Oh yeah, they were just saying that they're proud and um, just thank the O line for all they all they've done and um, to just keep going, just keep going, um, upholding the standard and great win for the city of Clemson. Describe the emotions on that touchdown on the end, the shotgun little handoff on the outside edge. Just describe your emotions as you run in, just found nothing but green grass and got in the end zone, really got the game going for Clemson. You know, they blocked it up very well up front, so the gap was just wide open. I was ecstatic, and I'm um, just glad we got to get a point up on the board, and um, I knew it would get the stadium rocking, so that really gave us great momentum. Last week you talked about people counting you guys out. Um, how much of a chip was on your shoulder as a team entering the game, and then maybe even at halftime to keep that momentum going? You no, know, there was a big chip on everyone's shoulder. You know, Coach Sweeney just talked about executing all all week and um, just talked about defending the Valley, playing for your why, playing for why, you know, why you love this game. And um, everyone just brought it today. They brought it, and that's what it looks like to just play um, a full game of football right there. And then lastly for me, um, you know, you're in the zone as a running back. Was it the first hit you felt good? Was it the 10th carry? I mean, when did you go, okay, I'm not just... Uh, really, the first play, you know, that was just my mom, um, my mentality, just come out swinging and just give it all I had. So you know, every play out there, I gave it all I had, and that's what it turned into. Um, you know, just thank the O-line and God for for opening up the holes. You know, there weren't a lot of people outside this building picking you guys to win today. Did you, did you guys feel a performance like this was coming? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we always talk about inside out, being inside out, and being able to um, not focus on what the outside world is telling us to focus on the guys in um, in the battle that we are you know partaking in and just the coaches and everything and just all that it means to us so we just kept preaching of uh, being internal and just imposing our will and I just want to tip my hat off to Notre Dame because they didn't make it easy you know we had to fight for four whole quarters and um, that's just the way it was supposed to be. So I'm extremely grateful uh, to the guys on this team for not quitting. And you mentioned the offensive line, the holes that they were able to carve out for you today. And they've taken a lot of criticism over recent weeks. How much fun was it running behind those guys today? It was amazing. You know, we lost two guys 
And, you know, we had Trent Howard, Harrison Wood, a freshman in there, and they got the job done. You know, you could tell by the way they blocked and opened up, helped, uh, opened up the holes, um, you know, that they were, they were truly bought in into what we had to do today to win. So, what was your mind off? security had to be at the front of your mind? What happened on the fumble, and how much does it mean that, that Cliff Sweeney put the ball right back in your hand for the next three plays? Uh, you know, the ball just got away from me. They had a, he had a good hit on the ball, and um, that was me. I should have had two hands on the ball, but you know, Coach Sweeney and Coach Spiller had faith for me to uh, go back out there and finish the job, and that's just what I did. Bill, how, how motivating was it to you guys that Coach Sweeney went through such a difficult week and took some public criticism for this season, and now you guys did that help motivate you guys? Today? Um. Nothing. I feel like nothing really motivated us because if I feel like at this point, if you if you aren't motivated, then you know what are you doing? But we definitely did did have a chip on our shoulder, just knowing that, especially me knowing that this was the game that he needed to for his 166 win, and um, I really wanted that for him, and I know all the guys did. So we just we just had to get it done, find a way. What's it like, though, to see your coach take fire like that, to, to step into it for you guys? You know, it's tough because there's no one that loves him, loves us more than he does. So, you know, I personally take it personal. I know a lot of guys on the team do. So we just had to bring our all today, you know, fight for him especially. What was your mindset coming into this game, knowing that your partner in crime wasn't out there, that Shipley wasn't playing? My mindset was just to uphold the standard and do whatever this team need, needs me to do in order to win and be successful. And um, that's just that was just my thought and just playing for uh, my teammates, my coaches, my family, and the city of Clemson. That's that's that was my thought just going into the game. When did, you, when did you start to get the sense that, that you had something to play? That 41 yard run was impressive, but I mean, you, you kept following up. I just felt on the first carry for real. The O line blocked, blocked it up great, and we got some great momentum. That's why I just knew if we keep the same energy, we'll be able to have a great day. I think Cade was saying that he's never seen holes this big all year. I mean, have you seen? I mean, I, I have at times, but, you know, something just felt different today. You know, the guys and the weeks, past two weeks that we had, I know the guys are just really hungry to get the job done, beating the Valley, the fans roaring. That really helped a lot, too. And you've had some moments on this field, I'm sure, but, like, now this, I guess the first big one this year, uh, how did that feel to just after the game just embrace all the fans on the field? I felt amazing, you know. There's nothing better than a win at home. And um, I just thank the fans for all they do. And, and I know you could have done it with And they give us a lot of encouragement and energy. So does this give you guys motivation, confidence, any of that? Do you feel that already pulsing differently through this team? Um, or even just an extra angst knowing you just took the number 12 team down, number 12 team in the country down? Yeah, it definitely gives us a lot of um, fire in our bellies for sure. And um, it just shows, goes to show what happens when we play four four quarters of football and, you know, win the turnover margin and just complement each other. It's a win. You had a great game. This offense was still far from perfect, though. How do you guys take that next step this week? Oh, we just watch film, keep going, keep getting better. And um, with that, just focus on the next opponent, Georgia Tech, come ready on Monday, ready to go. What did you see on the 41 yard touchdown run? How good did it feel to, to finish it off? You've had some long runs this year that you didn't get to finish. Just tell me about what you saw and how it felt to finish. Well, it felt great to finish, you know. I just saw that the cutback was there, it was wide open, the guys blocked it up perfectly, and all I had to do was just run my passes to the end zone and I was able to get there. Yeah, obviously, you like to be a good teammate, share the ball with Will, but to actually get 30 plus carries as a running back, I mean, is that something? You enjoy is there something a little bit different about just being able to take it and go? Um, I knew just going into the game that I probably have to take a bigger load. So you know, I just came in with the mindset that whatever whatever amount of carries I get, you know, I'm just gonna try to make the most out of each and every one. And I'm just glad that that included a win for us. Does it help you get kind of into a rhythm a little bit more though? Yeah, for sure. I feel like any ball carriers start seeing things differently once they are able to just get into the rhythm of the game.
Oh, so you don't mind doing anything different to me than they have been for you, or no? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily, but today it was just a little more up to it, a little more nasty, because I just knew that we really wanted to win. We really needed this win, and I knew the guys would do anything uh, to get it done. And we just talked about last year a lot this week and how Notre Dame, you know, they they held us a lot on offense. You know, they stopped us a lot, and we just really wanted to go into this game and pose with our will. So you had a lot more energy? Yeah. Like, just because it was Notre Dame, for one. I mean, I wouldn't say that. We come, I, me personally, and I know the rest of the guys, Coach Sweeney preaches this, and he preaches just coming to each and every game with the same mindset, same attitude, you know, not putting more into this game just because it's Notre Dame. You know, I, with my, the way I prepare, this was the biggest game of the year because it was the next week. Was it kind of a revenge game? Oh, uh, for sure. I mean, just like I said last year, Coach Sweeney talked about how they dominated us, and we we wanted to show something different this year. So that's what we really try to do. Thank you. Bill, you were firing on all cylinders today, and so was the rest of the team. But what would you say is one of the most underrated aspects of this team? Underrated aspects? Um, huh. What do you mean, what do you mean by that? Like what what part of the team doesn't get enough credit for what they do? Oh, okay. Um I say special teams, um, punt team, especially Aiden Swanson. You know, he does a great job week in and week out, just getting us a great field position. And, you know, he really helps flip the field, and that's something that's very important in this game, field position. So, shouts to him and the punt team. We'll take two more for Phil. Sure. I saw one of the celebrations after your touchdown. I think it was Bo and Tyler kind of put the crown on your head. Is there a story behind that celebration? Or? I mean, me and Bo just kind of came up came up with it uh, last year, you know, just crowning each other and, you know, it just makes, me, it makes us feel great and just call each other kings. We all kings out there on the field, so. Any other questions? Sure. One more. Do you have one? Okay. Um, so when you look at the game plan, you know, you getting more carries, was there a moment in the game where you're like, hey, feed me, I'm hot, like give me the ball? Was that a moment for you? I mean, I really never stressed getting the ball, but I just knew that uh, that was the plan, um, but whenever the opportunity came my way, I just try to take full advantage of it. You know, I'm down to definitely block for the rest of the team, for them to make plays, because I know it's not only me, but, you know, when they put the ball in my hands, my mentality is just do what I can and help this team win. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you all.